Pele, let me just say you're great and you don't need to worry about anything. You finished? Good. Now, take the Napier Relton and help me figure out how to make you go faster. Fine. Cool. Get in. You like it? The Napier has a 24 liter W12. They used it to break speed records and test aircraft parachutes. Uh, we have a parachute? No, it was too heavy. Now, vamos! What happened? Did you swallow a bug? Come on, let's go again. Hola, friend. I have good news. You've given up this silly rivalry with the radio? Even better. Meet me here. In 100 yards, turn sharp right. Yards, turn right. Calculating route. In 400 yards, turn right. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Hot rodding was always about two things, breaking speed records and uh, careful adherence to the rules. In the 1920s, they needed cars that could outrun anything else on the roads. In the 40s and 50s, they had to race on dry lake beds in secret because gasoline was rationed. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. It's not cool, it's serious research. We have to learn so we can win. Are you writing this down? Kinda busy. yards you will arrive at your destination. Bueno, now here's the same car cost
Which, last time I checked, is me. Oh, this ought to be good. Hundred yards, turn right. Turn right. Whew! Still got it, Ale. Not that you ever lost it. <laughs> well, I can still do in an engine. So, how could Aurelio have pulled off that win? Everything is ready for our next racing history class. Get down here, quick. Is Aurelia working on a new ride? He might be. That's not funny. Ali, sorry about that joke on the phone. I was just... Ay, de que. Forget it. My apprentice, Katie, and I have been talking about the American muscle car era. Might be some lessons there for us. Let's do it! Dodge Hemi Superstock. The biggest Dodge engine in the smallest Dodge chassis. Quarter mile in 11 seconds. Very nice! See, this is the Alejandro I remember. Drive racing is all about reaction time, no? Maybe I'll really jump the gun on me. Oh boy. As well as the engine, they removed everything from the dart that would weigh it down on the track. The radio, the armrests, side mirrors, carpets. I can feel it in the corners for sure. Maybe if I pull the carpets out of every car in my garage. Don't even think about it.
That was great. Wasn't it? We've tried muscle cars and straight line speed machines, but we can still go faster. You need to take a breath, dude. <laughs> you like this. How about we step up la velocidad with some help from the Italians? Bellissimo! <laughs> Come meet me. I'll bring the car. Let me guess. Your apprentice, Enzo? Matteo, actually. But yes, he reminded me of one of the most important cars in history. The first production model to hit 200 miles per hour. <laughs> you don't need an excuse to get me into an F40. If this doesn't make us better racers, nothing will. Pure speed, pure performance. A nice 40th birthday present for Ferrari. And anyone lucky enough to own one. like it is, right? It makes so much heat, it has diffusers both front and rear. And I'm still sweating! Wow, that was fun. So much fun, I almost forgot about Aurelio for a second. Aha, uh -huh. now we're getting somewhere. Have you met my apprentice, Hina? She's here from Tokyo. A very talented mechanica. I'm learning a lot about Japanese street racing. Like it's okay to lose one teeny little race? Hmm? Oh, that? Don't worry about that. Just come and meet me. Okay, street racing school. I'm ready. Actually, I thought we could just relieve the Midnight Club era. Drive a Japanese legend, have some fun. Oh, well, yeah, that sounds great. Welcome to the Midnight Club. <laughs> exactly. In the 90s, Japan produced speed machines from Nissan, Honda, Toyota, this Supra 80. Kina says back then, everyone wanted a Supra. I can see why. Three liter twin turbocharged inline six. 
276 brake horsepower, 315 foot-pounds of torque. The turbos are sequential instead of parallel, so you get a consistent boost at low and high RPM. Wow, Ale, you know everything. Not quite. I just have a good crew to help me. Ah, big guns. Got it. This is the Hennessy Venom F5. Cars don't get much faster than hypercars, and hypercars don't get much faster than this. Get in. Top speed is over 300 miles per hour. Find it and hold it. So when's the rematch? With... Aurelio. He says any time. It's weird, he's not nervous at all, just excited. Like, he doesn't even care who wins, he's just happy to race. One hundred yards. Turn right. Oh boy, maybe I've been doing this all wrong. Do you mind if I take some time, clear my head before our next lesson? Yeah, take all the time you need. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much, click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So make a happy Corona 95, you'll have a great day, and peace out.